how to test or to check your Pinterest events, tag events, or API events. Uh, I'm Christian Stoichesko from Pixel Your Site, and I'm using our add-on, dedicated add-on for uh, Pinterest. You can find the add-on right here. Uh, it's already installed on my website, and this add-on requires the main Pixel Your Site plugin. In my case, I have Pixel Your Site Professional, but it works just as well with uh, Pixel Your Site free version. So the free plugin that you can download from uh, WordPress directory. Uh, so I have the add-on installed and I already have uh, the tag install, installed and uh, API conversion enabled. On this channel, I have a different video explaining exactly from where to get the um, tag ID, from where to get the account ID and how to generate an, uh, an API token. So if you don't know how to do it, watch the other video. Uh, now, what I want to do is to see if the events work as expected. So there are a few ways to do it. First of all, you can install uh, Pinterest Tag Helper, which is a Chrome extension. Um, if you don't have it, Google for Pinterest Tag Helper, Tag Helper open the page. So this is the uh, add-on. In my case, it's already installed. Um, so I have it right here. I think this is it, yes. And uh, when I will browse my website, I will start to see events here, but there is very little data that you will see using this uh, testing tool. So uh, if you want to see all the uh, parameters that we send with our events and everything, uh, it's best to use Pinterest native testing tool and you can find it from here. This is the business manager. Go to ads, uh, conversions. You will end up on this page and go to test events. By the way, this is uh, events history where you can see the events. You can see details for each event. But to test events, go here. and uh, type the name of your domain like this launch and simply browse your website in order to trigger events if you have a commerce i recommend you place an actual order on the website from here you can see some data about events Add to cart. View cart. So just purchase uh, something on your WooCommerce website. Or if you have other events, fire those events. So perform the action that is supposed to fire the event and um, do what a normal user should do. And right here, if you have some patience, you will start to see the events fired on the website. For example, this is the page visit and you can see all the parameters that we send with this event. Uh, you can use these parameters to create uh, custom audiences if you want to. To cart, this is a checkout uh, event. Checkout event, it's equal to the purchase event uh, from Meta, for example. So Pinterest calls it checkout instead of purchase, but it does the same thing. It tracks uh, transactions. So we fire automatically this event for WooCommerce orders. As you can see, it has a lot of parameters. Uh, important, each event has this parameter event ID. Uh, it helps to duplicate between browser and um, uh, API events. So only one will be recorded and processed. It's usually the browser event. Uh, okay. So that's, that's about it. That's how you can uh, confirm that you have events on the website. Uh, however, there's one more thing you can check, the duplication. I, I have a few warnings because I use this account to do a lot of testing, but um, the recent data works just fine. Keep in mind that you won't see data right away. So wait a few hours after you start to send 
uh, events and after you have conversion a um, um, pinterest api configured on your website but once you have it once you have data and after a few hours you will see um, information about how the duplication works on the website the idea is to have um, event id and uh, event id with each pair of bra tag and uh, api uh, events in order for uh, pinterest to understand that they track the same action and to process just one of the events uh, the browser event and not to process the api event they will process the api event if there is no browser event with the same name and the same event id meaning that the browser event didn't fire for some reason and they will simply go to process the api event so if it's all good you will see something like this and some data about what events were um, processed after the duplication uh, another thing you can do event history you can uh, browse events from uh, based on the uh, source api again wait before you check this data is not um, uh, shown in real time this is it uh, this is how you can check events on the pinterest site we have something else you can uh, see the details for uh, our api events if you go to logs open the logs page uh, we have the first section is for meta logs the second one pinterest logs enable logs save and then start to uh, browse your website or wait for real traffic to trigger events and you will start to see um, i will just browse the website i have no traffic here um, you will start to see logs on this page refresh and these are uh, the api events related logs so you can see the details everything that was sent and uh, importantly we have event id which will help to deduplicate events um, once you are done with um, checking your logs i recommend that you disable them because otherwise they will become huge we uh, every single event that we send will be logged and the, the file will get uh, really big so uh, that's how you can confirm that pinterest events work on your website if you see a warning uh, you don't have this event or uh, you don't have this parameter before anything test check your events use the test events page and uh, browse your website for that event make sure is there make sure um, the required parameters are there if they are not uh, you should contact us and uh, we will we will look into it if you use our add-on of course uh, so that's it i'm christian stoichescu from pixel your site Please watch, share, like, subscribe uh, to our videos, to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.